What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for April 19th, 2023, and you might have noticed either this morning when you logged in to do your dailies, or maybe even later last night, there is a brand new update to the game, and it's kind of a big one for some people, it's not as big of a deal for other players, uh, essentially we have an update that has some quality of life upgrades, which aren't like big significant ones, and of course we have the really big portion of this, which is chapter 5 of the Void campaign, which we will be doing ourselves probably later today we'll have to see i don't know how long it's going to take it does look like there's already quite a few people that have already finished it as well so yeah make sure you guys take one second hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into the news today <laughs> Okay, so starting off, of course, we have probably the biggest news and something that we're excited for is to push Campaign Chapter 5. It's the first one that's like, it has like a lot of range away from everything else, right? Like it's nowhere near everything else. Uh, there aren't any special rewards, at least right now, from the looks of it, to unlock. Maybe down the future we will. And you can check out, I think there's already like 11 people that have already done this. JC being the probably most recent one. Oh, no, even before uh, <laughs> Mystigan. Mystigan? Hey, is that from Fairy Tale? Um, yeah, <laughs> we managed to get clears out. So there's already a lot of people that pushed quite a bit in here. We just haven't done it yet just because, well, I want to record it. And otherwise, I probably would have smashed through it. Of course, Jesus was the first one to get it. Double Rangaroo got number <laughs> spots two and three. Uh, yeah, a lot of Omega Project people, things like that. So that is something we will try to do ourselves here in a little bit. I don't think there's a new... No, there's no Chapter 3 in Hollow. It's just Chapter 5 here. So that's number one. Again, very small percentage of players are even probably at that. I think there's over 100 though now, right? Yeah, people are definitely like into the, the chapter five progression here. We'll have to try it with our team. I don't imagine it's gonna be that difficult, but we will see. Uh, number two is you'll notice it was kind of freaky for me when you go to your servers list, you have a, a weird configuration of servers that you have recently been on now with the recent login button. So uh, be prepared because it, it'll show you the last server you were on. So like, if I think if I come over to here to our free to play account and then do it again, no, okay. Earlier, it put my free to play as the hot, like the first one, the closest one on this list. But just know, yeah, there we go, right there. See how it's like up here, even though 47 is the higher one. Normally, if you're on your server, you're used to being like your higher servers here. Your recent logins are now just all the ones that you've actually been on. So, again, don't get confused by that. This will be the default that it goes to, and it will not show your servers that you don't really use anymore, which I think is kind of cool because what I remember everybody used to say, is there a way to delete servers because you don't want to see them in the list? This is kind of that solution. If you don't actually go on those accounts, they won't populate in your recent login list. So yeah, it'll they, like this one here. We'll see how long it takes because this was our original free to play account. And I went on it the other day just to check what heroes we had and everything. So that one should go away pretty soon. But uh, yeah, that's one of the next things that has been added. Another thing that's been added, which I wish they would have done it for regular summons, basic summons too, is there is a now 100 times summon button for the heroic summoning events. So you can get through the summons a lot faster. However, that's not really going to help the free to play players as much because even like on our free to play account here that we always talk about, bag space is still a gigantic issue. Not bag space there, I guess I should say hero space. I can't even hit that button on this account. I need to do like 40 to 50 at a time, do fusions, break heroes down, all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. It is a very nice feature to have. But how relevant it is, I really don't know. Um, of course, for us, that's going to make summoning videos and everything even faster to go through because we can just hit that 100 times summon button. I was asking them to put it in for basic summons too, and I have not heard any feedback yet because it's like there's absolutely no way I'm doing 2200 basic summons with 10 at a time. If I could do 100 at a time, I would probably consider it. So hopefully there is that. There is a brand new post-combat statistics screen with the avatars that die shown in gray now i don't think i can actually show i wish we could show it to you right here but we can't right now because we're in the top eight competition right now although i guess i can show you an example like if i just go to like this replay here the way that you see these heroes dead here now um i think they actually might show up at the end of combat screen as well now uh, so if we skip the button here and we go to the post combat, yeah, you can see what here. Well, I guess all, this this is the weird thing here because it shows all of them dead. But I think that's because um, 
they're all dead within like they eventually all die whereas like oh man this team got rocked here <laughs> hold on let me find a better example i want to see oh, everybody's just destroying everybody i want to see something that's like someone not just having a one-sided victory like maybe this one here well here's the test will it show everybody gray on the right hand side of this battle i don't know it does and that's they're basically both i i <laughs> I don't think it's working properly. Is grayed out because even though they won this battle, they die eventually. So, don't know if this is a very good uh, implemented system, but it is a system that is here. So, take it with a grain of salt. They've added a filter, which is absolutely amazing, to this section here for the uh, limited skin types. You can search by what type they are. Uh, wow, you can actually look through Mythic. That's kind of cool. I didn't even notice that on the uh, on the TapTap -tap server. But you can now check out and see what ones are like from a certain holiday. Again, I want them to put it on this one so I can just see all the heroes that qualify. Because it really matters when it comes to remolding skins and turning them into mythic skins. Uh, I'll just show you like on him here. Uh, when you do go to remold, you need one legendary of the correct... Uh, I guess you should say correct type. And if you don't know the correct type, it's kind of like a shot in the dark and it kind of sucks. So there's that as well. And yeah, if we could get that button right here on the overall skin gallery, like it's kind of cool that you have it here when it's like, I need another mid autumn. Okay, I have a couple mid autumn skins that I could feed off. That doesn't really help me though when I don't know which ones are mid autumn. And then the only way to, other way to do it is going through and be like, okay, that's Thanksgiving. Uh, there's a mid-autumn. Okay, I have to click through and try to figure out which festival each one of these are. Uh, so I'm going to try to get them to add the filter button here as well because I think that is the more important thing. And yeah, beyond that, we might try to do some Void campaign today. See how far we can push. Maybe we can get to the top of the leaderboard. Of course, we'll never get number one because unless I like somehow jump on the second the update goes live to record, it's just going to be very, very difficult. And I literally rank wise. So just clearing four, six, 10, you can see I was probably rank. I think I was close to like 20 or 30 or something like that. Maybe 50 at the lowest. And I've already gotten like bumped way down the list. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. That is the updates for today. Make sure you don't miss out on any of those. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,